What's going on guys and welcome to my first ever video blog aka vlog. So normally I'm much more comfortable on that side of the camera, not this side of the camera. I am not a YouTuber whatsoever. I will tell you right off the bat, you will not be hearing from me. Like and subscribe. You guys know how YouTube works. Hit the buttons if you want to see more. Why am I starting this vlog? So back in January 2023, myself and three other local artists were awarded a grant from New York State. Uh, we have till the end of the year to complete our projects. Um, each of us, different artists, different categories. The category I selected being a photographer. Uh, it was called folk and traditional art, even though it's not specifically photo related. Um, my project is gonna be photographing other creators, other artists, tattoo artists, photographers, fine artists, musicians, hair and makeup artists, all kinds of artists. But like I said, my category is folk and traditional art. So I'm not going to be doing this digitally. And no, I'm not going to be doing it with film either, which is how I learned photography in a darkroom. I'm actually going to be doing it with a process called wet plate collodion, which is invented by an Englishman by the name of Frederick Scott Archer back in 1851. From what I understand, it's the third form of photography invented. The first form was a daguerreotype, which is in 1839. A similar process where the photograph is made on copper. Then there was a calotype, which is kind of like a paper negative. And then this kind of took the best of both of those processes and put it into one called wet plate collodion. Uh, it's either done on metal, which is called a tintype, or it's done on glass, which is called an ambrotype. It can be done on black glass or clear glass. When it's done on black glass or anything black, uh, it's a positive. When it's done on glass, it's a negative. Everything I've been doing so far has been done on black aluminum or black glass. So the process is called wet plate collodion for a reason. You take your plate, whether it be metal or glass, you coat it with collodion. This is the mixture of ether, ethanol, and some other chemistries. Uh, I will be doing more episodes on the actual chemistries and the process. This is going to be kind of a brief overview. You pour this on the plate, then it sits in the bath of silver nitrate, and from that point on everything is pretty much in the dark, or the plate has to be in a light safe environment. Um, when those two chemistries combine, it makes a plate light sensitive. So I, again, it's called wet plate collodion. So I have to coat the plate with chemistry, make it light sensitive, photograph the plate and develop it within 10 to 15 minutes while the plate is still wet. Otherwise, if it dries, it's useless. It doesn't work at all. So my project is called Portraits with a Purpose. It is said that we are the most photographed generation, which is excellent, but the issue is no one's going to know what we look like in the future because we don't print anymore. Or majority of us don't print. All our photos live on a phone, on our computer. They crash, they get lost, they get stolen, and those photos are gone forever. I think there's a place for digital photos, for sure. But I also feel we should be printing our photos, even if they're just snapshots from family parties. So with this process, I like to call this the original NFT, because this can never be recreated. I could take a photo three seconds after this and it's not recreated, it's a totally different image. This is done on glass, uh, where a photograph, pre-digital, but shot with film, you can make as many prints as you want from that uh, negative. So they can be reproduced pretty easily. A negative can even be reproduced if you photograph the negative. This is a one of a kind, so once this is made, yes, I will scan them, make digital copies of them, but this can never be recreated. And on the back of my prints or plates, I have the sitter's name, I have the date it was photographed, their birthday, my name, the photographer, where it was located, if it was in my studio or on location. I also have a plate number on here too, because I'm counting how many plates I've been documenting. Uh, and 500 years from now, when someone finds this, they'll know who this is, how old they were. This is an original amber type, probably, I don't know, could be at least 150 years old. Sometimes you get lucky, you take these apart, you can find out information on the back of the plates. I have not been that lucky yet. I have a couple of these, but this has got to be over 150 years old and it still is in perfect condition. It is silver, so it will last forever. Just be careful on the glass, you don't want to break the glass. Metal, you don't have to worry about as much. So my goal was to get 20 sitters or 20 plates for this project. I already know I have a list of at least 20 people. I'm sure I'm going to be going over 20. So if you guys are interested in being part of the project, there's no cost to you at all. I'm going to put a link below in the description. Um, to where you can sign up. There's a couple of quick questions, um, name, what you do, um, 
and then I will add you to my list of my wait list of sitters. Like I said, I have till December to get this project done. Future episodes, I'm going to kind of get more into the detail on how I learned the process, who taught me. I'm still learning the process. I'm only about two years into this, but I'm not doing it consistently. So I'm hitting a lot of bumps on along the way. I want to show you guys some of those bumps. I know there's going to be people watching this who know what they're doing, who are wet plate experts. Please leave comments and tell me if I did something wrong. Um, I want some other people to see my bumps as I'm learning because other people might want to learn as well. I've been wanting to learn this process for many years and I um, get very fortunate to meet somebody who was willing to teach me. This has involved me doing a little driving, but I'll explain to that in another video. So guys, if you want to be part of the project, click the link and fill it out and stay tuned. And if you guys are liking this, I'm going to make more videos. I don't know when the next one's coming out just yet, but um, like I said, I'm not a YouTuber, so bear with me. Thanks, guys.